Welcome back. A restaurant called Indo recently opened in the Botanical Heights neighborhood. Courtney Boodleman and I sat down for lunch and a conversation with Chef Nick Bognar. Normally, we eat lunch at our desks. Today, we're stepping up our game thanks to Chef Nick Bognar at Indo. What are you making? Um, so what I'm about to make now is the uh, Isan Hamachi. Isan is Thailand's northeast region, the region that inspired the sauce in this dish. The not Thai thing that we're doing is we're using Hamachi, which is like a super Japanese ingredient, really great fish from Japan. Not typically combined with these flavors of Southeast Asia, but uh, that's kind of like what we do here at Indo. He tops it with shallots, a paste he calls Thai kosho, and candied garlic. Coat it in simple syrup and then we deep fry it. And I like to call it like a little garlic frosted flake. One bite of this colorful dish and we were sold. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Oh my God. Mm. Not bad, right? It's wonderful. You hardly even have to chew it. The sauce is so tasty, you might be tempted to drink right from the bowl. But this is an upscale kind of place, so we wouldn't do that. Wait, Courtney, what are you? That's the way to go, man. That's a good sign. That's, That's a, good, a good sign right good. there. <laughs> Next up, the chef makes us a spicy dish. So this is kind of like a peel and eat prawn. Um, we do serve it with the head, which is delicious. The head mainly adds a lot to the sauce. That's good, you guys are eating more than one. That's perfect. I thought TV, you're only supposed to just take like Not a tiny us. little bite and then just like, be like, oh, it was so good. Supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> Not us, we, we dig right in. We're hungry girls. Yeah, sometimes we have no restraint. It's not all fish at Indo. The lamb ribs are braised for six hours, so they're just tender, completely tender. We cool them down and cut them, uh, and then dredge them in a little bit of cornstarch, which gives it this kind of awesome, like, flaky, crispy texture that kind of just falls off the bone as well. We loved it so much, we could barely speak. It's a good sign. Wow. This is gonna be like the first segment where there's just no talking. And you guys <laughs> Next up, make your own fish tacos with lettuce wraps for the whole table. The fried madai. I like to call it like large format sharing. Four people can just enjoy this as an entree, I think, together. Each sauce has, kind of offers its own little characteristic to it, and you kind of just have at it and kind of try different ways and different combinations of things, and it just kind of gets really interactive and fun. And I very rarely see one of these last very long. Just rip it apart with your hands. This is my kind of place, yeah. <laughs> and dig it. I think that's my favorite. Really? Nice. Out of all of them. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's good though. We what do you think? What's your favorite? Mm. The first one or the, actually all of them? Yeah. Mm. That's really hard. It's hard to pick a favorite at Indo, but don't be surprised if this becomes a favorite St. Louis restaurant. And you will find Indo at 641D Tower Grove Avenue. The number 314-899-9333. They're open today for lunch from 11 to 3 and for dinner from 5 to 10. We ate everything he served the us. The lamb looked so good. Oh, it was like oh, candy. Wow. I mean, the rib tasted like candy. How is that possible? I gotta go there and check that out. It's so good. And his family owns a few other restaurants, including okay. Niponte, the sushi place in Baldwin. Oh. Um, also wow. another great place to check out. So, yeah. yeah, thanks for the great meal, Chef. All right.